So the flat major scales also have their own patterns to figuring them out, and uh, they're a little different from the sharp ones, but that's okay. Um, so if you look on the fourth scale degree, these are your new flats each time. Uh, and they're simply the orders that we've seen before, bead, B-E-A-D, bead, and then gum, candy, fruit, G-C-F, or greatest common factor, or something like that. Bead, gum, candy, fruit. Now imagine if you had your book, or a textbook, or a workbook, or something, and it said, can you make, can you make D flat major, D flat major. And you had to write all the notes out, or maybe you'll have to put it on staff paper or something. Okay, so obviously we start on D flat, but we can get along beyond that. Uh, if you look here, D flat, the latest one is G flat, right? But before that we had D flat. So all we have to do is count B, E, A, D flat, and then add one more. So you count up to the one you want, plus one. Okay, so if we do that, we do D, E, F, G, a, B, C, and D, and then we simply add all the flats, and the flats are B, E, A, D, don't forget we have two Ds, and then you add the G, okay? So that's it. You just count up to the one that you start with, uh, and you add one more. <clears throat> Let's try another example. Let's go with E flat major, E flat major. We know that E flat major is E, F, G, A, B, C, D, and E. And then we just count up to E flat. So we count one, two, and then we add one more plus one. Okay, so we add one. So all you have to do is write B, E flat, E flat, we got two of them, and then add one more. That's it, okay? So count up to and then plus one. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do the granddaddy and uh, with all of them and do C flat, C flat. And C flat looks like this. We have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. And then using the same trick and going through this method, we simply go up to C and then add one more. So we, so it turns out to be all of them, right? This is our plus one. Uh, so you have B flat, E flat, A flat, D flat, G flat, C flat, and C flat, and F flat. So they're all flat. Okay, uh, and that's how you can make flat keys. There's only one more point here to talk about, and that's this one. F major is the strange one. In fact, it's the only one of the flat major scales that does not have a flat in its name. This is C flat major, G flat major, D flat major, A flat major, E flat major, B flat major, but F is just F major. There's no F flat major. Uh, as we talked about previously, it would have uh, eight flats, and you would have to have a uh, B double flat in it, like that, and, and that would be F flat major, um, and that's too much. So just you have to to get this one down. It's just easiest to uh, memorize it. Maybe this is a useful trick. F is the first flat key first flat or first flat scale and first and flat both start with F don't forget don't forget or you may fail <laughs> just kidding but anyway, that, that's uh, a good way to remember it. You got F, 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 F. It's the first flat key. And so you just put the first flat, oops, you just put the first flat in. So you'd write F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, and just flat the B.